At what lengths would you go in order to feed your child? Yeah, that's a question many parents are having to ask themselves tonight uh, because of that ongoing shortage of baby formula. Our Brooke Butler uh, joins us live from downtown Savannah. Brooke, you have an amazing story. You spoke to one mother who drove 60 miles to find formula for her baby. Yeah, Greg, that's right. And she still didn't find the product she was looking for. She ended up having to go to four additional department stores to find the formula her baby needed. It was a search that took her five hours. And it's kind of like defeating. Haley Laura's five month old has been on formula most of his life. His sole nutrients comes from formula. Ordinarily, she would order his formula online, but hasn't been able to do so the past few weeks. I'm assuming it was probably because of the shortage. Like many other mothers, Haley ended up heading to the store and was met with this empty shelves. After the fourth time of looking at like a empty aisle that's supposed to have the food for your kid, you start to wonder like, well, what are like, what are you going to be able to feed your kid? A pediatrician tells WJCL the shortage of formula is due to supply chain issues, as well as the recall and shutdown of an Abbott nutrition plant in Michigan. That's led to a cascade effect where not only can that formula not be found, but the brands that people are switching to haven't been able to ramp up to meet demand. So what can you do if you can't find the formula you need? Dr. Ben Spitalnik says you have several options. If you have to switch, switching to another formula brand is by far your better option than switching off formula. If you're on a specialty formula and you don't know which ones are the right ones, ask your doctor. Your doctor will know which ones to switch to. He says you should also consider buying ready to feed formulas rather than powder if you can afford it. They're a little more expensive, but just to get you for the next few weeks until the powder becomes available, buying the ready to feed liquid is just as good. And those are options Haley might have to consider as she only has a limited supply of formula for her baby. So I probably have like maybe two and a half weeks, maybe three weeks. I'll probably have to do this again. That's a tough situation for a new mom to be in. Uh, Brooke, President Biden had a call with the companies that manufacture and sell the formula today. Any timeline for when this issue is going to be resolved? There's a lot of parents tonight waiting for this to be resolved. Yeah, Greg, that's right. Well, the Biden administration can't say exactly when things are going to improve, but they say right now they're working on cracking down on price gouging. They're also considering importing formula from overseas. Back to you. All right. Brooke Butler, keep us posted. Thank you so much.